Hello everyone, at the end of this episode, something surprising was revealed. It turned out that the contents of the letter Jihun received stated that he was the person who killed Song Yi two years ago. This means that two years ago, he made that man a scapegoat to avoid going to prison. If we look at Jihun's reaction in the preview for the next episode, it seems true that he was the one who hit Song Yi. Jihun looks scared or shocked when Sarah knocks about the letter that he hit. In the preview, Hale shows the marriage contract agreement between Jaeguk and Dajong to Jaehoon. She tells Johan. In the preview, Hale shows the marriage contract between Jaeguk and Dajong to Johan. She tells Johan how shocked he was when she saw the letter. Now they both have proof that Dajong doesn't love Jaeguk and their marriage is just a contract marriage. Johan seems braver to be close to Dajong after finding out about the contract marriage. He also asks the Jung if he she doesn't want to live as Anna's mother. Johan also mentioned that he really looks forward to the Jung and Anna living happily together. The three of them are also seen going to an amusement park together. It looks really happy but also worrying. Jay can know whatever they do, just like Saran. Their current happiness can bring many genders things. And at the end of this episode, the Jung thinks that she has to devise a plan or arrange everything to protect Anna. Okay everyone, that's the preview for this time and thank you for watching my video.